Tom Smallwood versus Bill O'Neill. Barnes was able to get past Vian Stubler. The veteran O'Neill will meet his buddy Tom Smallwood. They're both looking for their third major champion for that prize and $100,000. It's our title match. O'Neill knows how to win big money tournaments. He's done it a couple times in his career. And, well, Smallwood knows how to win majors. Thirteen PBA Tour titles for Bill O'Neill. U.S. Open in 09-10. The players in 2020. Bill O'Neill leaves two. And that looks like a ball change for Bill. It looks like it's the same kind of ball that he used in game one, the Black Widow 3.0, but this one looks shiny to me. I mean, it's hard to see from my vantage point. I'm going, I'm going by the monitor and I'm getting the yes from the, um, the tour reps that are down lane. So it is a different Black Widow 3.0, shiny one. And you can see that with the, that shinier surface, it has a, a lot more movement in the back part of the lane. He is a three-time PBA Tour champion and two-time major winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Smallwood. You said he could roll today. Why do you believe that? Well, Bill O'Neill shot 215 the first game. If, if Tom Smallwood has any kind of look with his full roller, his unique ball roll, 215 is not going to cut it. 214 average last year. You said it was a tough last season for him. He has started this year well, but he leaves the 10. Also, Smallwood has had the highest strike percentage of any player throughout this tournament. Check out this release. Now, he only puts his thumb into the first knuckle, rolls it up on his wrist, and then the way it comes out of his hand, it, it's almost like he sets his hand on the ball and it makes it into an offset position. So because of that, the way the ball comes out of his hand, it creates a full roller type of motion. What, what does that mean? Well, the bowling ball is 27 inches in circumference. His track actually goes between the fingers and thumb hole, which means it's covering 27 inches of the ball. We had a great conversation with him yesterday. He said he's just gotten more and more comfortable in the offseason. All about having that hand in the right spot, as you just referenced, Smallwood with a strike. Again, see if we can't see the ball rotation and the ring of oil and pick it up in between the fingers and thumb hole. That's kind of hard to see there for me. Traditional ball track would be Bill O'Neill, and that's what's known as a three-quarter track. O'Neill getting past Ryan Barnes to get Ooh. here. Oh. It falls. Whoa. Hang on. <laughs> Check this out, Johnny. Whoa. 2.6. Yeah, that's a Black Widow 3.0, not a 2.6. He still trips the two pin. Man. And remember, he, he went to that ball change. Remember, he told Kimberly, hey, I didn't I never threw a Brooklyn that last game. Uh, uh, never mind, Kimberly, we're moving on, and I'm, I'm going to make the right adjustment. And that adjustment was a trip, too. He talked about certain blocks this past week where he could be really aggressive. How he's holding the ball, where the front of the lane hooks more, where he has to be softer. All about being nice oh. to it. That's nice oh. for Mr. O'Neill. Back to back. Oh, 10 pin gets bullied. A tale of the tape between these two vets. Players have been around the block, but obviously the the lore has to go to O'Neill. 13 time winner. I, I mean, he's just so, so talented, so good. Uh, 40 years combined as touring pros, and uh, man, just uh, just some great players. 
No, no, no! Yeah, roll, roll two, then you 7-10. That's pretty much what you should, should happen. Well, wow. how about this stat? Seven, the 7-10 seven split was left 227 Normal. times this week, counting this one. Appreciate it was only converted really once, and that was by Richie Teese. Once. But, yeah, but you heard Smallwood. He was like, oh, that's fair. Bill rolls a two pin. I leave the pocket 7-10. Just four times it's been converted on television. Oh! It was that close! Wow. We almost just watched history, Randy. Wow. I, I mean, this looked so close. Oh! 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 Oh. My. My goodness. I'm not sure I've ever seen one that close that didn't go down. And that's saying oh a lot God, from a guy crazy. who's been doing it 25 years in this booth. Crazy. Wow. All right, see if Smalls can gather himself. So pocket every shot. Yep, good one. Yep, good one there. All right, Smalls, you got to shake it off, man. Dust yourself off. Lace up those shoes, tighten them up a bit. And get ready for a good old-fashioned rock fight with Bill O'Neill. These two wouldn't have it any other way. O'Neill with back issues. Last year he said he was doing yard work before heading to Maine in September. And he said, oh, that's not good as he picked up the rake. Worked and worked to get it healthy. Now feeling good. Yeah, I guess it stemmed from an old, old basketball injury. It did. Around 20 years of age, he's playing hoops, and ever since that, he said it's been 18-month cycles. Amazing what he's accomplished. Yeah, right? I mean, he looks like he's feeling pretty good right now, <laughs> obviously. But, you know, he, he stopped trying to shape it, and he's going nice and straight now, and he's gotten three in a row. Bowl of 300 during qualifying. After a bad game, he recovered. He's always had that about him. Mm. Not enough shape on that shot. You know, every shot makes somebody happy, and that one made Smallwood happy because that means O'Neill is going to slow down just enough. Just cover both pins with the bowling ball. Four of our five finalists tonight bowled 300s. The only player not to was Stubler. His high game was 280. Stubler played quite well here today. Ryan Barnes got the best of it. Four for four on the 28 for O'Neill this week. Well, it's a chance to talk about this man. He is the American dream. Tom Smallwood qualified for his PBA tour card in 2003-04 because he did well in regional tour events. He did not handle the pressure well. He missed the cut in 19 of 20 events. Found a job at a metal shop as his then girlfriend, now wife Jennifer, would not marry a man without a regular paycheck. At 30, he decided he was done being a full-time bowler. Got laid off by General Motors, gave it one last shot. One last shot in 2009. Scrambled the money together, 1500 bucks entry fee, got here to the players, rather the World Championship and won in Wichita. Yeah, I mean, it's like we, we talked about the, in the open, just a Cinderella story as we take a look at Tom Smallwood wiping off the oil on his Crimson Jackal that he has decided to go with. And right now, one strike away from making this just a 10-pin deficit. I mean, they, they made a sitcom out. Uh, about this guy. It's incredible. Let's go. He is the American dream. He's got a great ball reaction. All he needs is to not leave another pocket 7-10. <laughs> this is going to be a fight to the finish. Oh, boy. Small and speed is just soft enough. He's got enough hand to get that ball to shape beautifully down lane. S playing this pattern seven boards to the left of Bill O'Neill. Game on. Hates it. Another Brooklyn. 
And you can see why. The big miss right here. Seven point nine. It's the third time he's ended up towards the left. Well, this is as good as it gets down the stretch in a major. When you take a look at the max, folks, this is neck and neck. O'Neill and Smallwood, two vets, Randy. Wow. You know, it, it, Smallwood's trailing by nine. I like his ball reaction better. Oh, boy. Go straighter. I'm good. Go to the right. I'm good. Four, ten. Game face on for Smallwood. You know, it looks like he's trying to trap it and keep it in front of him. He threw a couple in a row. He threw that three-bagger by taking some of the shape out. Oh, he knew it right away. A big mistake. A big mistake. Well, right now, it's Smallwood's for the taking. Working on three in a row, he can step up and just make it five-bagger right now. He's up by five with that opening from O'Neill. He can make it 25 with back-to-back -back hits in the seventh and eighth. Smallwood. You did not just say that. Rob is going to be so disappointed in you. <laughs> just a beautiful shot by Tom Smallwood. One more makes it 25 pin lead with just a few frames remaining. Max score 258 for Smallwood, 233 for O'Neill. Just get lucky. Just get lucky. Mm. Oh, that's so terrible. Mm. Mm. Just get lucky, he didn't like it out of his hand. It looked a little fast, ball never came around the corner. The good break, no 10 pin with the 2-8. Five of seven this week on 2-8. Smallwood. Oh. How is that never hook? That was an overhook. Ugh. Well, Bill O'Neill, you said it was there for the taking for Smallwood. Look at this. Unbelievable. I, I, I mean, I think he liked this shot when it left his hand, and the ball just never turned over. And so O'Neill with life in the eighth. Look out. Oh my, it did come around the corner. It didn't look like it was going to. The last couple of feet grabbed a little bit of friction. We want to give a big thanks to Bolero North Rock for hosting us. Corey Shugren, the general manager here at Bolero North Rock, Jeremy Lawless. The Bolero Regional Area Manager, Jeremy, Corey. Thanks to you and your staff for having us all week in Wichita, Kansas. It has been a pleasure to be here for the Players' Championship. Bill O'Neill, he won it in 2020. O'Neill turning it on at the biggest time. And that's how you take advantage of an opening given to you by your opponent. Max score O'Neill, 233 still. Max score Smallwood, 224. What a beautiful shot by Bill O'Neill right here.
you can just never count Willie out because he's just tenacious. He can do so many different things, and he's got such great touch. Now Smallwood has to apply pressure. The only way he can do that, he has to strike out. Needs it here. Oh, oh my goodness. Really? Three, four, six, seven. And just like that, just when it looked like Smallwood was going to run the table, a missed spare, and then right through the face. Sadly, I didn't like it. I didn't mind that at all. $100,000 in the balance. All but over. Yes, it is. Always hurts. Tom Smallwood with a Split heck of a week. Pretty decent shot there. Oh. Now I'm Bill sure O'Neill from Smallwood being there for the taking. Just an incredible turn of events in our final. Man, I mean, it was such a high, right? He w gets that four-bagger. It looks like he's going to kind of run away with it. Then O'Neill doubles, and then it's just like back-to-back -back open frames for Smallwood, like getting rapidly punched in the jejun. Unbelievable. I got nothing. Back to, back to back to back. That was the worst ball choice I've made ever in my life, in my career. It, yet, yet he threw a four-bagger. Wow. A heartbreak for Tom Smallwood. A frustration swing. And yep. You got to feel for him. You hate to see any player go through that. I mean, at one point, his I think his max score was in the, the 240s. Yes. And he shoots 178 in a matter of three frames. Bill O'Neill. I'm sorry, no, he, he could have shot 250. Yes. And Bill O'Neill is the 2024 Players' Champion. His third major and second at the Players. Still got it. He still got it. Don't ever count Bill O'Neill out, folks. $100,000 bill for Bill O'Neill. The satisfying moment of the match is sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. A back injury, a tough way to end last year. That back's feeling great right now. He's heading back to PA with hardware. Had to spend the night in Houston on his way here. Missed practice session and still won. I love you. And you think of his dad. Thank you, guys. Thank you think you. of his family. Yep. Thank you. What a special week for Bill O'Neill. He won the 2020 Players Championship. Now he wins it in 20. I'll get there when I get there. 24. A U.S. Open as well. Kimberly Pressler is with Bill O'Neill, the Players Champ. We had to wait for Bill to go over there and celebrate a little bit. You worked hard for this win. You struggled a bit on that right lane. We won't say it's a Brooklyn. You can call it whatever you want. But then you had that uh, split over there on the left. Walk us through this match. Uh, I, I didn't have a great look. I, I think I played them, didn't play the lanes that great. Um, you know, I was committed to playing straight. And, you know, a, a lot of times on TV, that's what you have to do. You have to have a game plan and you got to stick with it and, you know, hopefully it works out. And, you know, fortunately for me, Tom, you know, he caught a bad break there in the third frame and, um, you know, I thought he bought a pretty good game and I, I got pretty lucky. Tom, I think you should do the honors right here. The commissioner of the PBA, Tom Clark. Thanks. Thanks, Kimberly. What a, what a thrilling start to the 2024 PBA Tour season. Thanks to Bolero, North Rock, Snickers, and on behalf of the PBA players and the PBA bill, Congratulations. You're the Thank champ. You. You. Congratulations, Bill O'Neill, on winning your second PBA Players Championship. Thank you, Hammer. Black Widow 3.0. Let's do it. And a 14th Thank you so much. PBA 
Tour title. Third major. The PBA returns in just under three weeks on Saturday, February 3rd, live on FS1 at 4 Eastern with coverage of the PBA Elite League presented by Snickers from Indianapolis. And then the next day, Sunday, February 4th, live coverage of our second major of the season. The U.S. Open presented by Go Bowling from Royal Pin Woodland in Indianapolis at 4 Eastern on Fox. For our entire crew, our producer Dave Bruner, for Randy Peterson, the Hall of Famer, for Kimberly Pressler. This is John Fanta saying so long from Wichita, Kansas. Bill O'Neill is the players champion in the PBA. He starts the year in title fashion. You've been watching the PBA on Fox.